Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will continue with part 10 of constructing the car project. Okay, so I think I'm gonna continue on with this lower rocker right here. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to the wheel flap. So right now we have the wheel flap, but the surrounding uh, area has a little bit more detail, more sections, so I think I'm gonna keep working on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this part. I'm just going to add a little more detail to the plastic and also the sheet metal. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring back the wheel flat layer. Okay, so it looks like we have all the curves. So I just need the outside curve. And we have this center, uh, center position. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste and I'm gonna move the pivot here like this, and I'm gonna bring it over here to our default layer, and I'm just going to scale it like this so that it fits exactly as I intended. So right now, the only problem is, uh, you'll see that this area is a little bit more, um, I have to put it a little bit more inboard, well, not exactly inboard, but put it towards the center. And if you see the image, it's actually doing that also. So what I'm gonna do is I think I might just um, just do a CV move. I'm just going to do a non-proportional modification like this, and I'll just slide it over like this in XYZ. So I'm just gonna use the middle mouse button. Oops. Well, maybe I'll just do this one this and just slightly like that. Okay, so I think that's good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this over here like that. Now the location, uh, this location is not exact. So what I have to do, I would have to add more surfaces and details in order to establish the loca exact location where I want it to be. But in, uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna do a freeform blend and just roughly establish the position. So this one, I'm just gonna say default and this one, I'm just gonna say default also. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of crown. No proportional uh, proportional crown on crown value this um, looking at the picture there seems to be quite a lot of volume so I think I might do that also oh, well actually maybe not so maybe I'll just leave it at 0 0.01 for now and uh, see how it is okay so I think that looks pretty good it looks like there's a little bit more detail on the sheet metal, but let's just see what's going on. Okay, so maybe I'll do that too. So same thing, I'm just gonna do a copy paste, scale like this. And because of this is actually more proud, I'm just gonna, uh, let me just scale it, make sure that it fits well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna make it a little bit more proud compared to the plastic part. And I'm gonna say freeform blend, connect the two, like this. And again, I'm just gonna say default on both sides, a little bit of crown. Um, actually, this surface doesn't look like it has a lot of crown, so maybe I'll just keep it a little bit more flat. It looks like it's a little bit more flat, so uh, maybe I'll just, to point zero 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 oh oops, zero 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 five okay copy and paste again I'm just gonna scale it over like this okay that looks pretty good just a little bit smaller I know it's a little bit different than the ortho but I think this is uh, you want to keep the same gesture so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to do a freeform blend to the two. I'm going to make the proportion uh, crown the direction the other way. And this one, I'm going to make sure that I match it like this because I think it's supposed to be a little bit more flatter, like the wheel flat that we have right now. So I'm going to do that. And let's see. 
think I need to move it a little bit more inboard like this. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so right now we have uh, we have added more details on the wheel flap. And now, uh, the rear, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do this one first before adding more details in the rear. Okay, so the next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to add this uh, flat right here. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll see that it is uh, directly connected to this part right here. So I'm gonna try to get a curve going on here and you, you'll see that it's a little bit extended. So I'll try to add, uh, be aware of that also. Okay. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, well, right now there's a little of a gap here, but you'll see, you'll notice that there's no gap here. So I'm gonna have to adjust that too. But before that, I'm just going to add the curve. So let's see, go to the side view, F6. Okay, I'm just gonna snap a curve right here like this and I'm going to snap a curve right here like that. Now with just a flat curve, uh, I probably need to add a little bit of more a section. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a project and I'm just going to delete this curve and I'm going to do a fit curve and like that. And I'm going to using uh, I'm going to be using this fit curve as a reference uh, as a generation curve for the rail right here. So right now the advantage of doing th doing it this way is because we have a light math. It's on a curved surface, and because it's a fit curve, it uh, very nicely mimics the shape of this area. Now it is not to say that we won't need to adjust this. Um, so in the future, there is a very good chance that I might need to make some adjustments. But at least for now, when we are just roughing all the surfaces in, I think it should be a very uh, good method to fill in the surfaces. So right now, I did establish the surfaces, but it looks like it needs to be. I think there's a little bit too much angle. So maybe. Well, let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do an extend. Oh, not this surface. I'm just gonna extend this curve like that. Because right now this one, the surface needs to go all the way over here. And it looks like it's a leaning a little bit too much, I think, in my opinion. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull this out. Actually, maybe I should grab all, all, all these curves and I'm gonna pull it out in the y direction like this and i'm going to also use a stretch to pull this out pull the surface out like that until i hit a point where i feel like it's close to the image so maybe a little bit more i think also, I think there's way too much crown, so maybe I'll reduce that too. So that the, uh, the only problem is that it, that is going to uh, a little bit discon uh, that's gonna the section is going to be a little bit disconnected from this, but that's okay. Uh, we can always make the adjustments later. So let me just reduce the crown just a bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. So just push in the Y. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I think it uh, mimics the gesture of the surface right here. Now, let's see. Now, because we don't have an exact reference, this is just gonna be by eye. So you just have to have a good sense of where things need to be. And we will also be willing to make uh, all the adjustments that it is necessary in order to make this a little bit more lifelike. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for now. Um, but uh, as I do more modeling, I'm gonna, of course, have to uh, do some adjustments, but that's okay. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna project this line onto here. Actually, before that, let me try to fill in some of this. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to untrim like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a fit curve. 
Uh, well, maybe not. So um, I think I'm going to, in well, maybe I'll do a fit curve. So I'm just going to do a fit curve and I'm going to pull the curve over here and I'm also going to pull the curve over here. So I think we need a little bit more data. So three, three degrees. I think that should be fine. Well, we'll find out. So delete construction history. And I'm just going to trim this piece over here. And let's look at what the image, let's take a little reference to image. So it looks like it's, um, yeah, there's a little bit, I guess, well, it's not a triangle. It's a, so we got a little bit of angle here, but I think, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. So again, I'm gonna, just gonna create a curve from here to here, like this. And I'm going to do a project, oops. Over here, and I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna use a stretch tool to make sure that this point touches right here. Um, actually, I think we can just, use it as, I think we can use the current surface. So I think, I don't think we need to actually have it touch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just set up a rail, one rail, one and one. And no, actually I should set this as a generation curve. And this is a rail curve. Okay, so let's trim it away. Let's see what look, uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so let's, create a curve here like this. I think it needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna say stretch or extend. And I'm just going to project like this. And I'm gonna trim the piece away. Now, because of this is rough, I probably have to do some adjustments and it is, even if you see the wheel flat here, um, this is a little bit more inboard. So I would have to either adjust this wheel flat or this piece right here. But we'll, uh, we'll determine that a little bit later. Okay, so it looks, and it also looks like there's a little bit of flat piece right here. So I'm gonna create a rail. Actually, let's use the draft tool. So I'm gonna use a draft tool. So probably for a plastic piece like this, uh, there needs to be a, at least a three degree minimum draft. So I'm gonna say three. So from the side view, it looks like we were able to do that. Uh, however, it looks like this piece has a little bit more angle than the other one. So maybe I'll just do it, uh, do the draft for this piece. Just leave it like that. And I'll just do a bit of an extent and I'll set up a rail, a moon rail for the other piece. And it does look like it's uh, getting a little bit wider. Um, so we'll have to be aware of that too. Okay. So maybe I need to, oh, actually it's meeting up like that, uh, which means I probably need to have this a little bit twisting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up uh, to a fit curve and I'm going to delete the construction history. I'm just gonna to attach to here and I'm gonna use the stretch tool and make it snap right there. Okay, so, and it also looks like this needs to be a little bit wider. So I'm gonna use the stretch tool and snap this end like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I, and maybe I'll just bring this point a little bit rearward to match the scan, uh, make, uh, match a sketch a little bit better. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just gonna delete this monorail because I don't think it's matching what it's supposed to. So I'm gonna say for this one, I think I can just do a freeform blend. So here and here, and I'll just do a non uh, a crown like this and establish something like this. Now this might need adjustment, like I said, so do not be afraid to just to create it and you know, we would have to adjust it later. 
Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. All right, I think this is a, pla a good place to stop for now. Um, yeah, okay, so that's it for part 10. Uh, we will continue building this in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.